I just took one of those you wake up and you think it's tomorrow type naps. Ugh. Kinda wish it was tomorrow because I'm still tired. The fuck? She did, maybe she, I don't know what that was. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest signing out of The Third. Y'all guys, The Third family. If you're subscribed, if you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider becoming part of the family by clicking the subscribe button, bottom right hand corner. But we're still on this 30 minute sessions video by 21 Pilots and today we're on, I think it's the third, fourth song? One of those, My Blood. I'm excited for this one because everyone's been hyping this one up in the comments of the other video saying that this one's fire. It's been so hard for me to not watch this after after I finish recording each video. I go to the end of the song and then I pause it and then wait till the next day to record the next video. But we are gonna see, I'm like more and more impressed every single time just with any artist that can reconstruct an entire song and make it sound like something else when we already know what the original sounds like. Cause I don't have that kind of creativity. But y'all know what I always say, there's really only one way to find out whether or not we're gonna like this or not. I seriously doubt that we won't, but that's to just watch the video and see what happens. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest no spaces just like the channel says channel name down below but i'm excited fam let's just go in and see what we got let go usually at this point of an event i like to ask if there's any questions we will be answering questions shortly over there and we have a special guest coming up who's it gonna be exactly I'm about to get some tape and like do that shit to my, cause I'm a bandito now, you know what I'm saying? So, gotta rep, gotta rep the set. Oh, and for all of those that were saying you shouldn't listen to this without hearing the first ones, I've heard the first ones. I just haven't seen the music videos. That's what I'm saving because I know that there's like a, one storyline between multiple videos. I forgot what people say, but I've listened to these songs before. I like know these songs. Just wanted to point that out, that I'm not listening without knowing the songs. When everyone you thought you knew deserts your fight, I'll go with you. You're facing down a dark hall. I'll grab my light and go with you. I'll go with you. This song's lyrics are like some of my favorite. The crypticness I know is one of like the features and one of the things that people like about 21 Pilots lyrics because it gives you a lot to digest. It gives you a lot to like mentally think about. You're invested more into the band because you have a lot of you have a lot of thought going into what he's saying and what he's meaning. And the cryptic lyrics, especially when they don't explain them, like I could be explaining them totally wrong. I don't think I am, but that's just my interpretation. You could interpret them completely different, and that's what brings 21 Pilots fans together. But sometimes you just want straightforward lyrics, and they're very moving. And you know, everybody wants that friend. Everybody wants that family member that's there. They're gonna that's gonna be there when they're down and out. This song lyrics, the type of song lyrics that they are, they remind me of like Justin Timberlake's I'll Take It From Here off of Justified for like his very first solo album. It also reminds me of Dig from Incubus, like the same type of vibe, the same type of like, I want to be that one that you can remember and look back on in 10 years and be like, oh yeah, Ernest was there for me when no one else was. And go with you, I'll go with you, I'll go with you, I'll go with you. Surrounded and up against the wall, I shred them all and go with you. When choices end, you must defend. I'll grab my bag and go with you. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. Yeah. Stay with me, no, you don't need to run, stay with me, my blood, you don't need to run, stay with me, no, you don't need to run, stay with me, my blood. Bro, just the softness of the notes is like, 
His voice is impeccable. To hit those notes, that right there. The way I said like he's talented and is God-given and I took it back earlier, like no, he taught himself how to do all this. You, nothing's God-given right out the gate. Having vocals like this and being able to hone your craft by practicing, turning it into this, that is God-given. I could practice for a month straight and I'll never be able to sing like that. And it just changes the whole feeling of the song whenever he goes up there into the next portion of the vocals. And what makes the song so powerful is the, is the name of the song, My Blood. Like we think brother, dad, mom, like blood, but my blood could be anybody. Cause blood doesn't mean anything. Some of your strongest relationships are gonna be people that, are, that don't have your same blood, that don't have your same genetics. Me and my brother are stepbrothers. Our genes are 100% different, but I would go to bat for my brother, I would die for my brother in the same way that I would for my cousin. Blood doesn't mean anything. If anything, sometimes your blood relatives can be your most toxic. So because of that, that makes this song so universal and my blood is like a, it's such a powerful name. It's such a powerful lyric. But we're gonna go ahead and rewind real quick because I know you ain't mad about it because damn, them notes though. You thought you knew Desert's your fight I'll go with you You're facing down A dark hall I'll grab my light And go with you I'll go with you I'll go with you I'll go with you Surrounded and up against the wall, I shred them all and go with you. When choices end, you must defend. I'll grab my bag and go with you. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. Yeah. Stay with me, no, you don't need to run, stay with me, <laughs> my blood, you don't need to run, stay with me, no, you don't need to run, stay with me, my blood. And then on the high note portion of it, like he switches up the piano. The piano is just chords at the beginning whenever he's singing like in his normal register. But then when we get to the chorus and he switches it up, the song doesn't change tempo, but it feels like it does. It feels like it has more energy because of the fact he throws in that little melodic portion of the song. It's no longer just chords on half notes. But yo, this is like so perfect. Sometimes when you record and deconstruct or reconstruct a song, whatever you call it, sometimes it doesn't need to be like a whole nother complex song, like, like Chlorine was. It had all those different elements in it. That song fits that vibe. Just the piano and his voice, that type of production fits the lyrics and the vibe of this song. I just wanna feel the fragile emotion of the song because the person that he's talking to is obviously very fragile. They're going through something and he's saying he's trying to reinforce. That's what the lyrics are about. And stay with me, my blood. So effortless. If there comes a day, people post it up at the end of your driveway, calling for your head and they're calling for your name, bum down on them, I'm coming through. If they know I was grown with you, do they hear the smoke? No, I'll go with you. Just keep it outside, keep it outside, yeah. Stay with me, no, you don't need to run. Stay with me, my blood, you don't need to run. Stay with me, no. You don't need to run, stay with me, my blood. You don't need to run. No, oh, mm. you don't need to run. No, oh, you don't need to run. No, oh, you don't need to run. No, oh. He's such a good, like, pianist. Cause we had like that little bridge into the next portion where he's just saying, no, you don't need to run, but he builds up the volume of the piano. So it builds the emotion into it. And the tonality of his voice, just like the way his voice sounds, like the nature of his voice. It's warm. I don't know how to explain it. It's like raspy, but it's not raspy. 
his voice sounds good throughout the entire, like all the notes. It doesn't sound like he's forcing himself to try to hit a note that he can't. And even with being up there, it just sounds so effortless. But this song reminds me so much, like not in the way it sounds, obviously Justin Timberlake's version or Justin Timberlake's message in his song that's similar to this, it sounds completely different. It's, it's pop, like straight up pop, but it's the same sentiment. I wanna be your air that's so sweet and fair. And when you feel like you can't breathe, I'll be there. I wanna be your lighthouse when you get lost. I light a bright and shiny path to help you across. And when all the love is gone and you can't carry on, I'll take it from there. The same emotions. Anybody who's a good writer, they know when to put the metaphors, they know when to put the crypticness away because they want the message to be loud and clear. I don't need you to try and decipher what I'm saying. I'm telling you straight up, I'm gonna be there for you through thick and thin. There's no ambiguity. I'm telling you, this is what it is. If you find yourself in a lion's den, I'll jump right in and pull my pen mm. and go with you. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. I'll go with you, my blood. I'll go with you, yeah. Stay with me. No, you don't need to run. Stay with me. You don't need to run, stay with me No, you don't need to run, stay with me My blood, you don't need to run, stay with me No, you don't need to run Yo First of all, that's like my favorite line in the whole song. If you find yourself in a lion's den, I'm gonna jump right in and pull my pen and go with you. Cause this is all metaphorical. Like the lion's den is metaphorical. Like you feel like you're in danger within your head and you feel like you're alone. I'm gonna pull my pen, write these songs so you feel like I'm there with you. So you know that you're not the only one suffering and going through this alone. The whole song is talking to his fans because they know, he knows that their music is saving people's lives. It's not ordinary pop music. It's not all just about love and broken hearts and you know, those kind of things, having a good time. It's about mental issues. It's about being fragile. It's about trying to stay strong when you know that you're fragile. It's about things that normal surface level top 40 pop music doesn't really ever touch. And that's why their fans embrace them in the way that they do. And then out of nowhere, we move up an octave on the piano, catches you off guard, changes like the emotion and the energy and the vibe of the song. And then the volume of the piano gets louder so that way you know that emotion is building and getting hyped inside. And then we drop back down to the octave before whenever we start singing high so that we we're not clashing with the high notes of the piano and clashing with the high notes of his voice. He doesn't want our brains and ears to have to decide what we're gonna listen to at the higher at the higher octave. Are we gonna listen to the piano or are we gonna listen to the voice? They're gonna clash together. So he raises his voice to the octave, drops the piano back down to the octave prior, and then now it just harmonizes, syncs together perfectly. That's just musicianship right there. I'll go with you, my blood, I'll go with you, yeah. Stay with me, no, you don't need to run, stay with me, my blood, you don't need to run, stay with me, no, you don't need to run, stay with me, my blood, you don't need to run, stay with me, no, you don't need to run, stay with me. His voice just goes all over the place and it sounds good all over the place. And then the way he says, you don't need to run in two different ways. You don't need to run. And then you don't need to run. Oh, you don't need to run. Stay with me, my bud. Thank you, thank you. So we have um, one more left. And Yo. I didn't want anything other than what he just played right there. 
I was hoping it was just gonna be piano. And he delivered. Sometimes less is more, especially for songs like this. Less is definitely more here. And what's crazy is that the vibe of both songs, the original and this one, they're both perfect. They're both good. Cause the lyrics can work in both ways. When you're when you're feeling down and out, the piano version is better. When you're feeling hyped up, like you're ready to go to war and ready to go to bat for somebody, the hyped up version is better. The trick the actual like album version is better. Yo. <laughs> Pretty much every song that I listen to by 21 Pilots and every live video that I watch by 21 Pilots, the talent level is just getting further and further unmatched. And this is one of the reasons why they made the Ode to Sleep video because they knew that like, we're onto something here. I feel it in my bones. I have intuition, like just deep in my gut, all these other cliche phrases, I don't know why I said so many in a row right there, but they knew they were gonna be big. And the reason they are where they are is because their musicianship is like undeniable. Yes, Josh isn't a part of like these sessions right here, but make no mistake about it, he is like just as integral to the band as Tyler is. Because of the chemistry that they have, because of the musicianship that he brings on the drum side. Because when you listen to the album versions of this song, when you listen to the Trench album and Blurry Face, like the drumming shines through just as much as the lyrics in Tyler's voice do. Like it's not typical drumming that's just there to keep the rhythm of the song. Like it shines just as much as everything else does. But this dude's voice, man, it's like, it's not the voice that I thought it was whenever I dismissed this band originally. It wasn't the voice that I thought it was whenever I listened to Lane Boy. That was the first song that I listened to them by. That was the first reaction on this channel of 21 Pilots. Even then, I didn't think that his voice was like this. Easily becoming like top 10 vocals that I've ever heard, easily. But yo guys, like I always say, if you like this video and you like this commentary and you got this far in the video, I really appreciate it. And if you like it enough, please consider liking the video and leaving a comment down below for algorithm's sake, for activity's sake, for that algorithm. If you like what you saw enough, cause chances are you did, cause you're at the very end, famo. Please consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell. The family would love to have you, you know what I'm saying? Plenty of 21 pilots coming up. Like I said at the beginning, give your boy a follow on the gram and on Twitter at the third earnest. Check out the Discord link down below. The Discord's always dope. I'm in there at least, you know, at least four or five times a week. If you have some disposable cash and want to support your boy and support the channel, just be by saying, yo, here's a little something for the hard work you do for us because these videos get demonetized. Check out the Patreon link down below. Y'all guys are the ones that are making the channel go. Like I always say, I have to pay the bills somehow. And if I'm not making any kind of income off of this YouTube, I got to go out there and do photography and videography gigs and things like that, which are lucrative and can be, but I'd rather make something that I know that I'm going to enjoy with the whole community, the whole family here. But like I always say, guys i appreciate everybody's time i know you can watch reaction videos anywhere throughout the world of youtube but y'all guys choose to spend a decent amount of time here with me that really means the world to me so i try to make these videos as entertaining as thought provoking as original as possible but that's it guys like i always say go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and i'll catch everybody in the next video peace